So now, why are they all wrong? Why is Murdoch wrong? They're looking for the candidate that's gonna capture the mythical moderate Republican. Well, we know from 2020 what percentage of the Republican Party that is, 7%. So how is 7% going to beat 93%? So okay, look, you could look at different polls and that was the, the breakdown of Republican voting, Republicans voting for Trump in 2020 versus Biden, okay? But let's look at other numbers. But the most you'll ever see in any poll, like oh, I'm a little uncomfortable with Trump, I would prefer someone that wasn't so vitriolic, etc. It's like 30% of the Republican Party at its maximum. Well, 30% ain't gonna beat 70%. That's why Trump has a massive lead. So there is no magical candidate. They thought DeSantis was the magical candidate. That's why in the beginning, Murdoch and all laborers, oh, DeSantis, DeSantis, oh, DeSantis is gonna win, DeSantis, DeSantis. And he comes in and he tries to out hate Trump, and Trump's like, ding, right? And so now, if you bring in Youngkin, I will guarantee it, write it down in stone. He's not gonna do any better than DeSantis or any of these guys. Because DeSantis is trying to go to the right of Donald Trump. There's no space to the right of Donald Trump, none. But if you go to the left of Donald Trump, then Republicans hate you. So it's an unwinnable race. Trump is their messiah. The only way Trump loses is that the Republican voters see that he's about to go to jail and they're like, this is gonna be weird. But even that's helping him. So he's like the, the as we're right back to 2015, 2016. He's that monster in Star Trek, when you fire the phasers at him, he doesn't get weaker, he gets stronger. So now with this giant lead that he has, somehow Trump has to blow himself up because these guys cannot beat him. And Youngkin is a, is a false hope. And the fact that they can't see that is stunning. Yeah, and look, I think I think that you're focusing too much on ideology and not enough on some of the other characteristics that speak to voters, right? The same characteristics that led to Republican voters supporting George W. Bush as the guy they'd like to have a beer with. Ron DeSantis has no personality. I would venture to say that Glenn Youngkin is riddled with the same issue. All Donald, politicians are. Yeah, yeah, all politicians except for, unfortunately, someone like Donald Trump. Oh, totally. Who yeah. eats it. He loves to be in, in, the, in the public, in the limelight. He loves to do his rallies. He's a charismatic guy and he knows how to market himself in ways that I think other Republican candidates have really failed at. There are only two people in almost my entire life of covering politics who have not seemed like fake plastic robotic politicians Donald Trump. And Bernie Sanders. Yeah, it's true. One of them absolutely means it when he says he's looking out for the average American, and the other one doesn't mean it at all. He's just looking out for himself. But they both look authentic, right? Bernie actually is authentic, and of course, that's why the Democrats had the Democratic leadership had to kill off his political chances. So now all we have left is Trump, and that's why he's got this giant lead, and they're not getting it at all.